Yoga Club. Time to roll out the red carpet and your yoga mat and get ready for a yoga club that brings the cinema to you. We have sparkles and glitter with trolls that will be singing and dancing as well as some superhero action too. Mm. But we simply cannot begin before we take a moment to honour the real stars of Cosmic Kids. And that is you guys. So thanks to Grayson who loves to do yoga every night and likes the idea of a Spy Kids yoga adventure. Nice. Hello to Chloe and also Aria who's in California. To Ethan and the suggestion of a Beyblade burst theme. Also Mia and Ian who like the idea of a Hamilton adventure. How I'd love to do that. Or just to work with the great Lin-Manuel Miranda somehow. Thank you to Momasin and Thomasin. How gorgeous to see your reaction video. Oh, it made my heart sing. And now it's happened again. Now, big love to you both. Julian had the idea for a Narnia episode. I like it. Also, a Playmobil mo movie adventure. Julian also suggested Marvel, which means you may enjoy the new series out very soon, Julian. Superhero Kids Yoga in space. Nalene, it was lovely to receive your message too. Thanks so much for telling me all about Julian. It sounds like the videos are really helping, which is just so wonderful. More movie ideas from Paddy, who suggests Frozen 2 as a nice sequel to our Frozen adventure. And Patience in Kenya suggests Boss Baby and Rapunzel. Nice combo. Nature-loving Ellie would love a Lion King episode. And finally, a big happy birthday to Jad Alame, who is turning five. Happy birthday. Before we begin, I'm bursting to tell you all about Yoga Quest, which will be launching anytime soon. You sign up to get your free pack of Yoga Quest maps, which guide you through 20 yoga adventures. It's awesome. Now, once you complete the quest and all five maps, you will get a certificate of completion from me. It's going to be amazing. Now, I love hearing from you and will do my best to read out as many names as possible and messages. So do keep sending them to me at yogaclub at cosmickids.com. Now, let's get onto our yoga mats and get going with our movie night yoga club. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we've got a special adventure inspired by the DreamWorks movie Trolls. That's why I've got my pink poppy hair and my pink poppy body. Oh, very exciting. Now our story begins 20 years ago in the happy forest in the happy tree. So let's come up to stand and do our tree pose, bringing one foot on top of the other, our hands together at our hearts. Let's grow our tree up nice and tall and open our branches and let's sparkle our fingers because we're a very happy tree, yes. Now can we do our tree pose on the other side? Let's try. Bring your other foot on top now using your heel, bring your hands together at your heart and grow your tree up nice and tall, opening your branches wide, sparkling your fingers and how about a big smile Bing! yay we're happy trees now living in the tree were trolls tiny creatures with big colorful hair let's come into our troll hero pose coming down onto our knees now take your hands forwards take your feet wide and snuggle your bottom down in between your ankles yes crisscross your fingers turn them inside out and lift your arms above your head coming into your troll hero pose now, if that's a bit ouchy on your knees, you can lift your bottom, scoop your feet underneath and sit back on your heels. Yes! Now, the trolls love to sing, to dance and to hug. Let's come up into a hug pose. Sitting up tall, arms wide, wrap yourself up in a big, beautiful hug. Oh, it's wonderful. 
Life for the Trolls was full of glitter showers. Let's come into our glitter shower pose. Taking your arms wide, take your foot to the side and drop down onto one of your hands and sweep your arm up and over your ear. Yes, making a glitter shower appear. It was also full of rainbows. Coming back to two knees, arms wide, leg to the side, drop down onto one hand and sweep a big, beautiful arcing rainbow over your head. Wow, how lovely. Now the Bergens were the exact opposite of the trolls, always feeling sad and clomping heavily around Bergen town. Coming up to stand in our clompy Bergen pose. Feet nice and wide, fold your body forwards, holding onto your ankles and let's clomp. Here we go. Clomp, 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 clomp. Rolling up to sad stand. Oh, to be happy like a troll. That's all they wanted. Then one day, coming down to crouch, fingers to balance, a Bergen ate a troll. Seeing if you can balance with your fingers off and gobble a troll. Mm. It made him smile. And then it made him jump for joy with a big woohoo. After three, let's do a big woohoo jump in the air. One, two, three, woohoo! So this is the secret to happiness, eating trolls. And so they hold a festival each year, Trollstice, where they feast on trolls to be happy for one day. One Trollstice, the young Bergen prince, Prince Gristle, is lying in his bed. Coming to lie on our beds, everyone. Legs out long, arms down by our sides and closing our eyes. It was time to wake up. So we open our eyes. He sits all the way up and he stretches excitedly. <gasps> Today's the day he gets to eat his first troll. And no ordinary troll, Princess Poppy, the special baby troll. But come feast time, all the trolls escape down the secret tunnels. Coming into secret tunnel pose, onto our hands and our knees. Tuck your toes and lift your hips all the way up to the sky. Ah, they're escaping. And the Bergens reach down after them with their hands. Coming onto all fours again, everyone. Now, scoot your hand through the gap between your arm and your leg and see if you can rest on your shoulder, reaching for a troll. Ah! Coming all the way back up, let's do that on the other side. Scoot your hand all the way through the gap and reach for a troll the other way. Nope, they can't get them. Coming all the way up to stand. That's because the troll king, King Peppy, marches his people to safety. Let's march. He chants. No troll left behind. No troll left behind. No troll left behind. Back in the Bergen Palace, the king, King Gristle, sits sadly in his throne. Bending your knees, sweeping your arms up by the side of your ears, coming into your throne pose. He tells his young son that he will never be happy. And he banishes Chef for letting the trolls escape. Coming up to stand. Now, 20 years later, in the new troll kingdom, Princess Poppy decides it's time for a party. Jumping her feet wide, taking her arms wide, she begins to spin and she sings, inviting everybody, move your hair and feel united. Oh, Branch the grey troll crouches down, going shh. Too much noise and the Bergens will hear. You'll lead them straight to us. And then Creek, the yogi troll, arrives with a namaste. Sitting on your bottoms, crossing your legs. Bring your hands together. After three, let's do a namaste. One, two, three. Namaste. He encourages Branch to channel the positive energy and together we do an om, just to do that. Bringing our thumbs and fingers together, resting them on our knees and let's om. Om. Opening our eyes, ding! Oh, look at the time! It's hug time. Coming up onto our knees, arms wide, let's hug. Oh, wrap it in. Oh, yes, I could squeeze you forever. Now, despite Branch's warnings, the party happens. There are glitter cannons popping. Let's come into our glitter cannon pose. Up onto our tippy toes. Now we're going to jump in the air after three with a big pop of glitter. One, two, three. Oh, yay! 
there's jumping to the music. Coming up to stand and let's jump. And there are light volcanoes exploding everywhere. Coming into volcano pose. Down onto our knees, bringing your hands down in between your knees. We're going to breathe in as we lift up. Here we go. And then we're going to blow a light volcano to the sky. Whoosh. Breathing in, lift up. And whoosh a light volcano to the sky. Whoosh. And let's do a few little ones. Wow, it's amazing. It is loud, so loud that the Bergen chef hears them. She looks through her cosminoculars. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, everyone. Have a look through. Oh, there they are, the trolls. She sees them, lowering her hands. Here she comes, taking big steps. Coming up to stand, everyone. Let's take a big step forwards. Here we go, big step. She reaches all the way forwards to grab a handful of trolls. Then she steps all the way back to put them in her pouch. Then she steps forward on the other leg. Big step. She reaches all the way in to grab those trolls and she steps all the way back whoop, to put them in her pouch. Oh no, the trolls run in all directions. Help! King Peppy and Poppy hide, coming into hiding pose. Down onto our knees, untuck our toes, folding our heads all the way forwards to be very quiet as we hide under our hair. Shh! Coming up to sit. When the coast is clear, Poppy decides she needs to save everyone and she gets up quietly. She tiptoes down to branch the Grey Troll's bunker. Shh, shh, shh. She asks for his help, but he doesn't want to. And so Poppy brings all the other trolls down to hide with him, just in time for... Ding! Hug time! Arms wide, wrap yourself up in that big, beautiful troll hug. Ah, Lowering your arms all the way to the side. And so Poppy sets out on her journey alone into the scary forest. To feel brave, she sings about the sunshine. Reaching up to the sun, give it a wave and say, hello, sun. She sings about the butterflies, coming to sit in butterfly pose. Soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet and fluttering your butterfly wings. Yes, lovely. Even getting soaked by the rain, using your fingers to pitter patter your head and your face all the way round, maybe your legs, yes. And she gets chased by the wiggly wormy monsters, coming into our wiggly wormy monster pose. Onto our tummies, everyone. Hands underneath your shoulders. Now wiggle, 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 wiggle all the way up, making yourself into a wiggly wormy monster. She sings, I'm not giving up today. And about getting up again, tucking your toes up onto all fours, walking your feet forwards and rolling up to stand. Then comes the spider's web. Jump your feet wide, take your arms wide. Oh no, she gets wrapped up in a sticky cocoon. Bringing your feet together, now crossing one leg over the other and bending your knees. Arms wide, scissor your arms, wave with your underneath arm and twizzle them round, sitting yourself down a little bit lower. Oh no, she's in a real sticky cocoon. And here come the spiders scuttling along to gobble her up. Taking your feet wide, coming into spider Spider pose, bending your knees, hands going between your feet. Now ticker, ticker, ticker your fingers round the back to the ins outsides of your feet and walk your feet all the way in, coming into your spider pose. Oh no, but just in the nick of time, who should appear? But Branch the Grey Troll, using his hair like a warrior to shoo them away. Coming up to stand into our warrior pose. One foot forward, one foot back, Bend your knee, sweep your arms up high and open them wide. Let's shoo those spiders. Shoo! And jump the other way. Shoo! Branch has decided he will help Poppy. Together that night, they make a campfire, sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, bringing our elbows forward and wiggling our fingers like they're the flames of the fire, crackling away. 
it's time to go to sleep. And so Branch and Poppy lie down, lying down with your legs long and your arms down by your sides. Ah, Poppy can't really get to sleep. And she looks up at the starlit sky. She sings, stars shining bright above me. Branch rolls over, taking your arms wide, bringing up your knees, taking them over one way and your head over to the other. He looks at Poppy and he goes, shh. Then he rolls over the other side, lifting up your knees, going to the other side and your head to the other side. Poppy sits up and she takes out a ukulele, taking hold of your foot, bringing it to your body and strumming it like a ukulele. She begins to sing to Branch. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Branch sits up. Poppy puts the ukulele down. Branch picks the ukulele up, picking up the other foot, and he's going to play it. But before he does, he throws it on the fire. <laughs> oh. Now, the next day, they arrive at the secret tunnels, which, are, which take them down to Bergen Town. Let's come into our secret tunnel pose, onto our hands and our knees. Tuck your toes and lift your bottoms to the sky. There are so many holes to choose from. Which one will lead them there? Walking your feet all the way forwards, rolling up to stand. And then Cloud Guy arrives, coming into Cloud Guy pose, bringing your feet together and turning your toes out to make them a V-shape, cupping your hands around your mouth and we're going to do a big blow to blow up a big puffy fluffy cloud. Here we go. Cloud Guy tells Poppy and Branch that one of the holes will lead to Bergen Town, the other hole will lead to certain death. And then he opens his arms wide and he invites little Branchy Wanchy in for a huggy wuggy. Branch has had enough of hugging and he chases after Cloud Guy. Come back! He dives down one of the holes after him, reaching your arms all the way up and folding all the way forwards, following Cloud Guy down the hole. Luckily, it leads them to Bergen Town, rolling all the way up to stand. Now, sitting in the palace is the young Bergen King, King Gristle, coming into throne pose. Feet hip distance, bend your knees, sweep your arms up by your ears and sit yourself down like you're sitting on a throne. He's with his pet crocodile, Barnabas, coming into crocodile pose, lying on our sides, arms long above our heads, and then opening and closing your jaws by lifting and lowering your arms. Very good, everyone. In comes Chef looking very proud and pleased with herself. Coming up to stand, she puts her hands on her hips and she tells King Gristle that she has captured the trolls and it is time for Trollstice again. <laughs> Just at that moment, Poppy and Branch tiptoe into the palace. <laughs> Just in time to see Chef making a sandwich wrap out of their friend, Creek, the Yogi Troll coming into sandwich pose, sitting on our bottoms, legs out long. Chef rolls out the wrap. Let's rub our legs. Here we go. Roll out the wrap. Roll out the wrap. She takes her arms wide. She twists one way for Creek the Yogi Troll to put him in the sandwich. Creek Troll, Creek Troll, Creek Troll, Creek Troll. Then she takes her arms wide again. She twists the other way to get some lettuce to sprinkle on top. Here we go. Lettuce, 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 lettuce. Then she rolls the wrap up. Arms wide. Now see if you can bring your knees all the way in, lifting your feet, hugging them in. She shoves the whole lot into King Gristle's mouth. But before he can swallow, she slams the door. Coming into door pose, up onto two knees, leg to the side, arm to the sky, and let's slam it this way. Slam! Poppy feels sure Creek must still be alive, but first she needs to save the others. Coming up to stand, she and Branch jump onto the apron strings of Bridget, the Bergen scullery maid, bringing your feet together, taking your hands up above your head, bringing your hands to touch. Now lean over one way, holding on tight to those apron strings, and lean over the other way. Oh, Bridget's taking them into her room to guard the trolls. 
And when she gets there, she comes to her knees and she sings a song about her secret love of King Gristle. Bringing your hands up. Hello, is it me you're looking for? And she lies down on her bed feeling sad. Arms down, legs down, crying. <laughs> and sleeping. <laughs> Opening your eyes, coming up to sit. Oh, this is so sweet, Poppy thinks. Bridget's in love with King Grizzle. Oh, that's the loveliest thing. But she needs to save her friends. So she and Branch climb silently up to where they're kept in the cage. Coming up to stand, let's climb silently. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. When they get to the top, the trolls are so happy to see Poppy and Branch. They do a happy dance and they sing about having a party again. Celebrate good times, come on. But we need to be quiet, so we crouch down and we shh. Now they're free from the cage, it's time to save Creek. But just as they're escaping, Bridget jumps up in star pose. Stop! Poppy needs to make a deal with Bridget and so sits calmly with her legs crossed. She suggests to Bridget that she and the trolls will turn her into a total babe so that she can get a date with the king. Coming into total babe pose, taking your legs out long, sweeping them round one way, putting your hand on your knee, your other hand behind you, looking over your shoulder, back to the front and going, ooh la la. Then let's do it on the other side, sweeping your legs round the other way, hand on your knee, hand behind you, looking over your shoulder, looking back to the front and ooh la la. In return, they ask Bridget to help them get Creek the yogi troll back. After some convincing, Bridget agrees. And so Poppy and the trolls get to work, transforming her into Lady Glitter Sparkles. Coming up to stand, everyone, she wiggles into a jumpsuit. Here we go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Then they jump on her head, bringing your hands above your head, palms to touch, stretch your arms up high like your hair's growing very long, and now opening it wide, making that big, beautiful, rainbow-coloured hair. From here, the trolls can give Bridget the word she needs because they're standing on her head, just in case she gets stuck when she's talking to King Gristle. Bridget steps out, feeling rather awesome and confident. I'm coming out. I want the world to know, got to let it show. When King Gristle sees Lady Glitter Sparkles, he is in love. Seeing if you can make a heart shape with your fingers. Oh yes! Together they go and eat some pizza. Sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs, we rub a hand on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time. Isn't this amazing? They are happy without eating trolls. King Gristle decides to show Lady Glitter Sparkles his gem locket. Coming into our gem locket pose, soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet, now folding your head all the way forwards. We're going to lift up our head after three to open it up. One, two, three. Whoop. Inside is Creek, the yogi troll. He's alive. Even Mr Dinkles said something. Oh, snap. King Gristle asks Lady Glitter Sparkles whether she will be his plus one for Trollstice. And she says yes! Now they go roller skating, coming into roller skating pose. Up to stand, everyone, turning to the side. Now we're going to lift up one of our legs and take our arms wide to take our leg all the way back behind us in our roller skating pose. Woohoo! Coming up to stand. Should we try that on the other side? Yes, I think we should. Standing nice and tall, lifting up one of your legs. Now arms wide, taking it all the way back behind you, nice and strong. We're roller skating! Coming up to stand. They're having such a wonderful time. And then Chef arrives. She has her hands on her hips and she folds halfway forwards to get a closer look at Lady Glitter Sparkles. Mm-hmm. She recognises that it's Bridget, and Bridget knows she needs to get out of there. Coming up to stand, putting one foot forward, one foot back, bend your knee, arms wide. She skates as fast as she can. Whoosh! 
but she leaves a roller skate behind. <gasps> Coming to stand, King Gristle is delighted, folding all the way forwards. He scoops up the precious roller skate. <gasps> Will she be his Cinderella and come to Trollstice? He hopes so. He decides he needs to get fit. And so he starts exercising. Jump your feet wide, take your arms wide. Let's do some windmill pose. Take your hand across to your opposite foot and reach your top arm up to the sky. Now let's switch sides. Take the other hand across and your other arm to the sky. Now let's see if we can do eight switching sides. Here we go. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Rolling up to stand. This is their moment. The trolls wiggle in under the rug. Coming onto your tummies, everyone. Hands underneath your shoulders. And let's wiggle, 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 wiggle under the rug. They're looking for the gem locket with Creek inside. <gasps> there it is. Lying all the way down, reaching forward with your arms to grab it. They've got it. But just as they do, Barnabas the crocodile sees them rolling onto your side and opening and closing your crocodile jaw. Oh no, he's chasing them. The trolls jump on the roller skate, sitting up, legs out long, and they drive it out of there. Holding onto the laces, they go forwards really fast. <laughs> then they sit up really tall, and Guy Diamond, the wonderful glitter troll, twists to the side, and he blows Barnabas with his glitter. <laughs> and the other side, turning to the other side, blows them all glitter. They think they've got away, but then the locket flies up into the air. Coming up onto our tiptoes, everyone. After three, let's jump in the air like we're the locket. One, two, three, whee! It pops open, sitting on our bottoms, soles of the feet together, bringing your head all the way forwards. After three, lifting it up. One, two, three, whoop! But Creek isn't there. He's disappeared. <gasps> Just at that moment, Chef arrives and she puts down a cage on top of them all, coming onto our hands and our knees, tucking our toes and lifting our bottoms to the sky. But who's this appearing? Walking your feet all the way forwards, rolling up to stand. It's Creek, the Yogi Troll. He's sold them out. He's agreed that he will ring Poppy's cowbell three times and lead Chef to where all the other trolls are hiding. Take your feet wide, crisscross your fingers behind your back, stretch your arms out. Now after three, let's fold forward and ring Poppy's cowbell. One, two, three. Bing! And up. One, two, three. Bing! And up. Last time. One, two, three. Bing! And up. This is so there'll be enough trolls for Trollstice. Come the day of Trollstice, Chef puts all the trolls into one ginormous pot. Coming into pot pose, lying on our tummies, everyone, bring your feet towards your bottom. Reach round to grab your ankles and kick your feet into your hands, lifting yourself up into your pot pose. Poppy's feeling sad. Sitting up, she hugs her knees. She feels like she's let everyone down. She feels like she's let everyone down and all of the positivity and hope leaves her. Her colour drains away and she is left grey. It then drains away from all the other trolls. Then, for the first time since losing his grandma, Branch comes forwards. Coming up onto our knees, everyone. He sings to Poppy. He tells her that he thinks her true colours are beautiful, like a rainbow. Let's do our rainbow pose. Arms wide, leg to the side, drop down onto one hand and sweep your arm up and over your ear, making your big, beautiful rainbow. Coming to two knees again, arms wide, leg to the side, drop down onto one side and sweep your rainbow up the other way. He sings to Poppy, and that's why I love you. Poppy comes up, hearing this, hearing this hope again, brings hope flooding back to her. And she and Branch open their arms wide and share a big, wonderful hug. All of the colour comes back to the rest of the trolls and to Branch, who isn't grey, but is blue. 
Now the lid of the pot gets opened. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Bending our knees, touching our toes. After three, let's lift our arms up to open the pot. One, two, three. Ooh. It's Bridget. She's letting them all escape. She wants to thank Poppy for helping her find true happiness. But now Bridget is in some serious trouble for letting the trolls escape. Coming up to stand, one foot forward, one foot back. Poppy's not going to leave Bridget, nor are the other trolls, and they whoosh in on the roller skate to save her. Sweep your arms up, bend your knee, and let's whoosh. Whoosh! They jump back on Bridget's head, turning her back into Lady Glitter Sparkles. Hands together above your head, sweep your arms up and open them wide. King Gristle is delighted and stands in star pose to protect his Lady Glitter Sparkles. Poppy steps forwards. She reveals herself and she explains. You don't need to eat trolls to find happiness. It's in each and every one of us. We just need to find it. Look at King Gristle and Bridget. They had a lovely time and they didn't eat any trolls. The Bergens start to realise that this is true. And they banish the chef once again, sending her out of the palace, rolling down the hill in a burning hot pot. Coming into our roly-poly burning hot pot pose, sitting on our bottoms, hugging our knees. Now we're going to tuck our chin and rock all the way back and all the way up. After three, one, two, three, whoop, wee! One, two, three, whoop, wee! Now this last time, can we rock all the way up to stand? Let's try, ready? One, Two, three, whoop, kick your legs, and up we go, yay! From that day on, Bergen Town blooms again, bringing your hands together, throw your arms up nice and tall and open your arms, spreading beautiful rainbow colours all over. Branch and Poppy share a big hug, arms wide, wrap yourself up in that wonderful hug. And Poppy is now the queen. She makes a new law that hug time is all the time. Coming down to lie in our relaxation pose, our legs long and our arms down by our sides. We close our eyes and let ourselves relax here for a few moments, enjoying this peace and this calm. Letting all of the glitter and the sparkle settle in our hearts. So often we look for happiness outside of ourselves to things that we own, things that we buy, stuff. When actually real happiness lives inside each and every one of us. We just have to find it. And the time that we share with loved ones, with friends and families, we can double, triple, and maybe even quadruple our happiness by sharing just that special time with them. And the happiness we feel from a hug is so special and so strong. Look for the happiness in the little things in life. And that means life will be full of glitter showers and rainbows, just as it is for the trolls. And now it's time to wake up. We wiggle our fingers and our toes. We bring our knees into our chests and give them a nice hug. We roll onto our sides, pushing ourselves up to sit, opening our eyes and crossing our legs. We finish just the way we started with a namaste. So we bring our hands together at our hearts. And after three, let's say it together. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, well done everyone. That was super cool. You were amazing. I hope you enjoyed the Trolls adventure and I'll see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. Zenden. Hello everyone, 
Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den. I'm Jamie and this is your place for a few moments of blissful peace to feel all calm and relaxed. First, let's get comfy. Sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, we bring our hands to our knees and take a big deep breath. That's better. Now let's get the Zen Den ready so we can really enjoy it. We need some music. Ooh, look at all of these we get to pick from. Let's choose some that help us feel all lovely and calm. Hmm. The sound of fluffy clouds. A light rain. Hmm. And a flute. Yes, perfect. Now for the smell. Ooh, what have we got here? Wow, look at these. Onion smell? Banana smell? Hmm. Oh, yes, let's smell the popcorn. Ah, oh, so yummy and marvellous. And today we're going to make mind movies, so popcorn is perfect. It can be fun to make movies in our minds. And it's not as hard as we think. There are just a few little steps we need to take to get ourselves ready. And then we'll be watching our very own movie screen in our head with our eyes closed. It's a bit like dreaming, but you're really awake. So. Here's how we do it. We need to get really comfy. Our bodies need to be totally relaxed. Now I'm going to sit with my legs crossed so I can keep an eye on you. But if you want to do it properly, I mean full Zen Den style, you can lie back and lay your arms down by your sides and close your eyes. You decide how to make yourself as comfy as possible. I'll count to 10 to give you some time to get settled. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done everyone. Now we're ready. We take deep and long breaths all the way in, filling our bellies and all the way out with a sigh. Ah. We do a couple more of those, all the way in and all the way out. Ah. And slowly we start to feel that lovely melty feeling of relaxation. Keeping your eyes closed helps you feel like you're in the movie theatre, where it's dark, so you can really see the pictures on the screen, right there in your mind. Let's get our movie started with some pictures. I'll call out the words, and let's see if you can see the picture that matches the word just in your head. Don't worry if it doesn't happen straight away. Keep going, and it will start eventually. Sometimes we have to practice a bit before we get the hang of something. Here we go. With your eyes closed, you can see a blank space, all black and dark. Now you see an apple, a bright green and red apple. Yes, there it is. Now you can see a red fire truck, a shiny red fire truck. Wow. Now you see a Christmas tree with its twinkling lights sparkling. So pretty. Now you see a butterfly. You can see its wings. It has the most beautiful colored wings. Now you see a door. Looking at your door, what type of door is it? Is it a large wooden one? 
What colour is it? You look at your door and see the handle too. You reach forward and put your hand on the handle and feel it on your hand. What does the handle feel like? You know that when you open this door, it will lead you to a place where you feel really happy and safe. Go on, go ahead and open it. There is your special place. In the movie of your mind, what do you see? Breathe in deeply and feel what you feel. Breathe out slowly and enjoy being here in your mind movie. You can come back here to this place whenever you need. Now it's time to come back, to return from your little mind movie. I'll count to ten and slowly you can come back to where you started, feeling much more calm and settled. One, two, three. Wiggle your fingers. Four, five, six. Wiggle your toes. Seven, eight, nine. Take a nice big stretch. Ten. Come up to sitting with your legs crossed. Well done. Hopefully you saw some of those pictures in your mind and maybe even found a lovely place behind your door. Hmm. No worries if not. It can take time to make that happen. Keep up the practice to become a true Cosmic Kids Zen Den Master. Bye bye. Universe. Oh. Oh. Dance a pose. Raising up your arm and taking your other arm to the side like you're a waiter holding a tray. Now lifting up one of your legs and seeing if you can catch your foot in your hand. Start to kick your foot into your hand, standing strong in your standing leg, starting to tilt forward a little bit as you kick, kick, kick your leg. Now dance a pose is great for stretching the whole of the front of your body, opening your chest and your shoulders. It's also good for learning how to balance, especially if you're focusing on a little spot in front of you. It's also good for strengthening your legs and your ankles. Now let's try it on the other side, lowering all the way back down and turning around. Let's reach our other arm up, take our hand to the side, catching our foot in our hands and starting, oh try not to wobble, to focus on a spot in front of you. Now kick your foot into your hand as you learn how to balance staying strong and still, kicking your foot into your hand, into your wonderful dancer pose. Oh wow, all these beautiful flowers for us. We've made it, we're the stars of the show. Peace out. Superhero flying. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Get yourself comfy and find a place to sit or lie down. Today, we get to be superheroes in Peace Out. If you are doing Peace Out with others in the room, see if you can just think about yourself here. There's no need to worry or watch and see what anyone else is doing around you. It definitely works best when you make it all about you. 
So get settled in your chosen spot. Do any fidgets and wriggles to make sure your body is super comfy. That's it. Now, see if you can let your body be still. Of course, you're breathing and blinking, so your eyes and tummy will move. But see if you can make the rest of your body still. Good. I know being still can be quite hard. So just do your best. You'll get better at it with practice. Now take some big deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. That's it. A couple more, slowly. And the next time you breathe out, just let your eyes softly close. Well done. See if you can make your body feel as soft as marshmallows. Really heavy and gooey, like you've melted into the floor. If you are sitting on a chair or cross-legged on the floor, remember to keep your back long and tall. Just make your arms and legs soft like marshmallows. Yes, well done. Now you've made yourself all soft, let's begin the fun in our mind. All you do is listen and the pictures will appear. Like the best dream ever. If you can't see any pictures right away, don't worry. Just breathe. Relax a little bit more and keep listening. They will start eventually. Here we go. Imagine that today is your birthday. In your mind, see yourself wake up and jump out of bed, really excited about the day. You've been counting down the days and sleeps, waiting for this day, and now it's finally here. Yes! Everyone at home gives you great big hugs and smiles, wishing you a happy birthday, and you enjoy how special it makes you feel. It makes you smile. There's a knock on the front door. It's the postman. The mail has arrived. With it being your birthday, you rush to the door, excited to be receiving mail which is addressed to you. The postman wishes you a happy birthday and hands the pile of letters to you. He also has a box which is addressed to you too. You smile Thank him and close the door, taking the heap of mail and the box back into the house. You have five cards and the box. That's loads of post. A lot more than normal anyway. All the cards are from family and friends. Some have pin badges, which say happy birthday and the number of your new age. You put them on your T-shirt. Now for the box. You open it up and inside is a really cool cape and a mask. The cape has your initials on it. 
It doesn't say who it's from. The only other thing inside the box is a beautiful feather. Hmm, you wonder who could have given you this lovely gift. You decide to try it all on and go check out how it looks in the mirror. With the mask and cape on, you tuck the feather into the side of the mask. As you do this, you notice something funny happening. Your feet lift off from the ground. You seem to be hovering. You quickly take the feather out again and, phew, you lower back to the ground. As you look at the feather, you start to understand and a cheeky smile appears on your face. You take another look at yourself in the mirror and decide. You want to see whether that feather will really make you fly. Still wearing the cape and mask, you head into the garden outside. Taking a deep breath, you tuck the feather back again into the mask. And this time, as your feet lift off, you carefully raise one arm into the air above you. As you do, you feel a whoosh of power and you know you can really truly fly. You point your raised arm towards the sky and before you know it, you have whooshed up and out into the big blue sky. Wow! This is awesome! You raise both your arms above you, which feels amazing. Then to the sides, like wings. And then you try using just one arm up, with the other tucked into your side. This is so cool! Down below, you see the streets of the neighbourhood where you live. Cars driving along. People out jogging. The park, where some of your friends are playing. Oh dear, they seem to have their ball stuck in the tree. You decide to help and swoop down. As they see you coming, their mouths drop wide open in shock. Wow, is that? But they don't recognise you behind the mask. You smile as you hover over the ball in the tree. Then you give it a little kick, freeing it for them. You smile at them, salute and say, You're welcome knowing that they would thank you if they could speak. You'll be seeing them later at your party. Off you go again, reaching up into the sky. The cool air whooshes around you and it feels so free to be up here and really quiet too. You whiz over the city higher than the skyscrapers, looking down on the buildings, the buses and the taxi cabs. All the traffic and the people who look like busy ants from way up here. This new flying superpower feels pretty good, but you've got a birthday to celebrate, so it's time to return back home. You curve your outstretched arm to turn around and then it's full speed ahead for home. Within minutes, you are landing again back in your garden. You rush back to the mirror in your room and you remove the feather, mask and cape and you hang it all up in your cupboard. Before you join your family, you take a moment to stand in your flying pose again. 
both arms raised above your head. It makes you feel super strong. You relax, smile to yourself, and go enjoy your favourite breakfast. What a great start to your birthday. Now it's time to return. Your peace out has nearly finished. Take a second now to feel your body again, where you are lying or sitting. Feel your body where it touches the floor, the bed or the chair underneath you. Listen to the sounds around you. Take a nice big juicy breath in and sigh out of your mouth and stretch. Now gently open your eyes and before you get up, take a second to remember how you felt doing that. And even though we can't fly in real life, it doesn't mean you can't still feel the power and strength from a superhero flying pose. Just try it. Next time you feel nervous, if you have to stand up and do something, or you're worried what people are going to think, take a moment to just close your eyes and remember yourself flying like the superhero you really are. Remember how good you felt, how strong and brave. If you are somewhere nobody can see you, you could even do the flying pose. Hold it for a minute and really feel it in your body. Your body can shape your mind. Your mind will shape what you do and how you are. And what you do will shape your future. Be pleased that you now have this amazing superpower in your toolkit. Whenever you need to feel stronger or braver or just a bit calmer, come to peace out. Each one helps you understand your mind a little better. And start to learn how to use the power of your mind to have a happier life and a whole lot more fun. This is Jamie saying peace out.